Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. We're at the Mess Hall at Historic Fort Wayne where we say thanks to the Historic Fort Wayne Coalition for getting us access to shoot here today. Today's episode is about that wonderful elixir of life, coffee. And it's a collaboration today with the National Museum of Civil War Medicine in Maryland. They have an original copy of Joseph J. Woodward's 1862 work, The Hospital Steward's Manual. Today, we're gonna do the recipe, coffee for 10 men. Now, as we're doing this, you're seeing some shots, and this is something really interesting. You're looking at an original Civil War era coffee grinder. Patent dates show 1855 and 1860 on the grinder, and this could have been in a hospital situation. Not the forward hospital where the camps are, but more back Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, the more permanent hospitals. And it's just a great piece of history to share with you. Let's listen to the recipe read and we'll work through it as you see it happen. Number one, coffee for 10 men. Put nine pints of water into a canteen, saucepan, or other vessel on the fire. When boiling, add seven and a half ounces of coffee. Mix them well together with a spoon or piece of wood. Leave on the fire for a few minutes longer or until just beginning to boil. Take it off and pour in one pint of cold water. Let the whole remain 10 minutes or a little longer. The dregs will fall to the bottom and the coffee will be clear. Pour it from one vessel into another, leaving the dregs at the bottom. If milk is to be had, make two pints less of coffee and add that much milk. Boiled milk is preferable. This receipt, properly carried out, would give 10 pints of coffee or one pint per man. Okay, you've seen it done and listened to the recipe. Here's a pint of, of coffee for 10 men out of the hospital steward's manual. The last thing left is to add two teaspoons of sugar and give it a try. I'll admit, I'm a black coffee drinker, so this is really sweet for my taste, but this is a great way to make coffee. If you remember back to season one of Civil War Digital Digest, you remember we talked in Coffee a la Zua for a mess of 10 soldiers about Alexis Sawyer. Sawyer was a British citizen who worked in the Crimean War to improve conditions, especially for people in hospitals and for soldiers in general in the British Army. He became friends with Florence Nightingale. This recipe actually was borrowed by Woodward and put in his hospital steward's manual because it's a Sawyer recipe. Now, if you look back in volume one, we didn't have milk last time, so we did it just with the water and with the sugar. Here's the other way that you can do it with the milk. So hope you've enjoyed this. It's a thrill for us to collaborate with the National Museum of Civil War Medicine, even when it's a chance to learn that multiple people are working together to share recipes to do better things for soldiers. I hope this helps you find a better connection to the soldier in the American Civil War. Enjoy your coffee around a campfire. We'll see you again real soon.